have uh, you know, still electric stuff. Uh, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to join some of that group. I, I think we could be one of the best bullpens in, in the whole MOP. You know, with the stuff we have down there, I'm definitely confident in myself and the guys we have. So I'm excited to, you know, get to talk to them and uh, join for them. It is to, to, to help this team win. You know, uh, obviously, uh, he has, has tremendous stuff, and I think he's a great closer. So, uh, you know, for me, I'll do whatever it takes to help this team win, wherever it is. Dylan, you came from a great pitching staff, but what does it mean to you to be able to either hold or close out these games from a two-time Cy Young winner, Jacob DeRomance? I'm excited, obviously, watching him from, uh, you know, not, not so far. Uh, you know, I've always uh, admired the way he, he pitches, you know, his stuff, his demeanor. He's been probably the best pitcher of the last couple of years, and you know, I think the whole rotation, uh, I'm excited, uh, you know, kind of, Get the ball from them and try to pass the baton for the rest of the shot. We know you grew up going to Yankees games with your family. Did you ever go to a Mets game? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Uh, when Pedro Martinez was there, I watched one of his games. So I definitely came to the Ball the Yankees to do it with the understanding the value of staying in the Uh I mean, I, obviously, I think uh, this offseason we just kind of went in with our uh, eyes wide open. We weren't sure what was going to happen. You know, I definitely enjoyed my time with the Yankees, and uh, you know, I'm thankful for, for that opportunity to live on my team. Thank the Steinberg and the fans for casting. And uh, I built a lot of friends there, a lot of family in, in the Yankees, so, you know, Obviously, I root for those guys, and I wish them the best. But the, you know, the excitement of being here with the Mets and, and the possibility, the possibility of, you know, to play for Carlos Beltran and you know, play with with, with, with the team excited me. And uh, you know, I think Brody did a tremendous job of, of kind of bringing this together, and I'm um, you know, definitely excited. Kevin, how much of a factor was having Carlos Beltran as a manager after being a teammate? Well, I know uh, as soon as he got that managerial job, he, he he kind of pushed my name towards management, and he did a tremendous job at, at, at you know letting them know that you know you know uh, how much he's liking me, I guess. But uh, uh, for me, he played a, he played a big part, definitely. I, I, I love Carlos Beltran as a friend, and so I can't wait to play. The injuries you went through last year. So the injuries you went through last year, does it change your perspective or your approach this coming season? Well, uh, for me, I, I, I just can't wait to get back out on the field. Uh, last year was hard as far as baseball. You know, I miss off being out there with the guys, and, and I, I feel good right now, and I just can't wait to get back out there and uh, you know, play ball. That's what I love doing. I, I think that the the work that we've done in the off season with the players specifically, the complete comprehensive player plans, combined with the new coaching staff, and then ultimately adding some of the players that we did, I think that we've got a, a nucleus of, of starting starting pitching, an elite bullpen with the potential for an elite bullpen, and then a positional core that gives us a lot of confidence. Well, hopefully the fans. You know, I, I think that being able to deliver that news right before the holidays was pretty exciting for all of us. Would you really just anticipate most? From his you know, what he can deliver, especially with his uh, Well, I think his upside to be one of the dominant pitchers in baseball is something that really is really is exciting. I think that his arsenal, particularly his fastball and his breaking ball, are wipeout pitches. And, and I think, as I said up here earlier, you know, I think he intimidates his opposing uh, his opponents. And being able to see him on a mission to to help us win is something that I think we're all very excited. About. Brody, can you really go from one of the worst bullpens in baseball to one of the best with this acquisition? Well, look, I think that we have a lot of talent on our, on our team. We had talent before Dallin came on board. We think that, uh, that the return of Seth Lugo, the work Edwin's been doing in the offseason, the work Jerry's has been doing in the offseason along with the other guys, and bringing Brad Brock back and now bringing Dallin in to, to really push the limit in terms of how threatening we can be to the, uh, to the opposing teams is something that I think uh, will give us a real advantage. What were the ingredients that he brought to the table that he really wanted? Well, he's battle-tested in New York. He's been a winning player. He's really known nothing else but winning. He understands the marketplace. He uh, he communicated to us, you know, the, the desire to to not just perform but to dominate and and to do that in an environment where he could win. I think those are the messages. When when somebody expresses that, combined with the fact that they want to be with the New York Mets, then we, we have to find a way to make a deal. Rudy, 
is such an imposing figure, aside from the talent in his right arm, the fact of how tall he is and how imposing he's been in his career, how how important was that in the decision to sign? It was very important. I, I, you know, when we look at uh, winning games, there a lot goes into it. There, there's a physical component, there's a psychological component, and, and obviously there's a teamwork that needs to go involved. But Dellen represents all, all three of those, and uh, you know, we're very, very pleased that he chose us. For sure. How cool is it that you, know, you grew up in New York, played minor league baseball in Staten Island, went to the Yankees, and now you're the Mets? Just everything about him is New York. It's a pretty unbelievable narrative, the fact that he can check off uh, all of the boroughs and to, to express his desire to be playing in this in this city. He's, he's done it, and at the end of the day, for him to choose to play here, I think, speaks volumes to the fans about what kind of guy Dylan is. Lester is not simple in any regard. They weren't. When you, when you have a player coming off of a year where he only faced two batters, there's, a, uh, there's an element where we have to try to find a way to give him the financial security he's looking for while also uh, you know, protecting his downside but, but also giving him the upside. And for us, I think the same, uh, same applies. We wanted to make sure we had, had some downside protection while also, uh, while also kind of giving, giving everybody the opportunity to have him be successful. Will he technically be a rehab player in spring training? No, I mean I think at this, if, from our standpoint, we expect him to be fully, uh, fully on on track to to start spring training. Was he on your radar all year, knowing he's going to be a free agent? And then when he had the second injury, did he go off for a while? It's hard to look forward during the season to to a potential free agent market because you never know who actually is going to get to free agency. So uh, no, we weren't necessarily looking for for him or or even. Um, you know, identifying clearly what our investments were going to be in the bullpen because we needed the year to play itself out. Were Cano and Carlos kind of involved in? Were Cano and Carlos kind of involved in selling the Mets to him pretty much from the onset of the process? I, I think Carlos had a relationship with Dellen, and the fact that both were here in New York presented opportunities for them to be in communication. Cano got involved closer to the end, and Carlos again had a conversation late late in the process, but. Um, Carlos more regular, regularly, and then Robbie more uh, more actively.